Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety. and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So this is part two of the review for Pineapple OG, and my allergies are bothering me, so don't mind me. Um, yeah, if you didn't catch part two, why not? I mean, if you didn't catch part one, why not? <laughs> This is part two. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm feeling this strain, Pineapple OG. I was in the midst of reading the review that I found on WikiLeaf for the strain, Pineapple OG. So catch part one and you'll see what I had to say about it, um, what, what WikiLeaf had to say about it. <laughs> so I'm going to take another puff, and this is the joint I rolled for... Uh, for this strain of pineapple OG, it's from um, a rice paper cone from the company Elements. Uh, I bought like a, a box of Element cones for myself, and then a box was given to me by my boss who I work for, who I fill cones for, so that I could practice more too and get better at it for my job. So I'm not wasting my job's papers, and I'm, I'm using my own, so pretty cool. And I got better at it. Now it's tighter at the bottom now. Somehow I made it happen. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Cheers, and thanks for joining me. Hope you have something really delightful to smoke as well. This ash isn't so bad on here, too. It's white. It's a good sign. <laughs> Cheers. Oh man, that's good. Alright, let's get back to it. Have my drink first. I'm drinking some, um, it's the name of a seltzer, seltzer water called Polar, and it's orange vanilla. It's like a cream soda, kind of. I'm not sponsored by this company, by, by the way, so. Oh god, that's good. Excuse me. Alright, let's see where we're at. This fruity strain isn't just nice to look at. I think I may have read that part in part one. Okay. The high from Pineapple OG arrives relatively quickly, giving consumers a brief head rush marked by odd sensations like stimulation of the salivary glands. Okay, I read that already. Um, here, I think I'm at this part of the review. After about an hour or sooner, if the dosage is increased, Pineapple OG's heavy physical effects begin to emerge. Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> a weighty, tingly sensation begins to roll down the neck and radiate out to the core and limbs. Consumers may find relief from any chronic muscular tension or may be able to take deep, restorative breaths. Even as these properties reveal themselves, the strains more head focused qualities persist. As such, Pineapple OG can be a great way to enhance activities involving full body coordination, including gaming or some moderate exercise. For those who aren't feeling as motivated, though, this strain can be a good way to unwind after work. It also it may also help to encourage camaraderie and natural conversation when shared in social settings because of its gradual descent into sedation. Pineapple G is recommended for late afternoon or early evening com uh, consumption. And that's, and that's interesting because it's 5.39 here right now in sunny California. So perfect. <laughs> early evening. Pineapple G. Its versatile effects can also have usefulness for medical cannabis patients. The keyed up cerebral thinking that comes with its onset can be a concentration aid for those with attention deficit disorder. Additionally, the strain's ab ability to improve move can temporarily treat the, t the symptoms of stress and depression. I think they meant to put mood on here. It's a typo. 
On the physical end of the spectrum, pineapology may soothe aches and pains, whether they're temporary as due to injury or chronic, as due to conditions like cancer or lupus. Anti-inflammatory properties, meanwhile, may take the edge off of irritations like nausea or cramps. Because its recursive patterns of thinking can become self-directed and paranoid in the wrong setting, set and setting, pineapple G is not recommended for patients who are prone to panic. Seeds of pineapple G do not appear to be available for sale online. Instead, pr prospective home growers should find a trusted source from which to take clippings of the strain. These can be grown as genetically identical clones. Pineapple OG can be successfully cultivated indoors or out. Although, outdoor success depends on a humid climate with daytime temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The strains plants grow short and bushy with strong lateral branches. They mature within 9 to 10 weeks and can offer a yield between 42 and 46 grams per square foot of plant. Pineapple OG's wide-reaching effects make it of interest to both indica and sativa fans. The strain's signature tropical flavor may also appeal to terpene, terpene connoisseurs. <laughs> so common usage for um, pineapple OG is depression, migraines, pain, and ADHD symptoms. Typical effects will be focused, relaxed, social, sedated, and euphoric. They put 10 out of 10 for sedated, so that's good to know. <laughs> so the highest test is 26%. Um, WikiLeaf highest uh, testing was 35% of THC content. So, so yeah, that is Pineapple OG. So let me take some few, few more puffs and compare uh, WikiLeaf's um, review and what they say about it to what I think about it. I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice. Um, as I said, I was thinking, in part one, I think I said this, that I was thinking, I might want to try this because I like the strain Pineapple OG, not Pineapple OG, Pineapple o Express when I tried it. And I really, I really thought, man, <laughs> If this is as good as Pineapple Express, then I really don't care if it's a sativa strain <laughs> because um, I like predominantly indica strains if I can get them. And it seems like sativa strains are becoming more popular now when you go to buy things. And uh, <clears throat> but yeah, the indica still exists, obviously. <laughs> You can't get rid of either one of the strains. You can mix them together, and then you'll feel like it's either one more of one or the other, or balance. So, kind of interesting with these clones. <coughs> Alright, I know what they're talking about when they say pineapple. I'm getting it. Using when I exhale through my nose, not everybody wants to do that, but I do. When I exhale through my nose, I can smell it and taste it even better and see if what they have to say, the the reviewers have to say about the strain measures up to what I'm experiencing. So, um, so they're saying it's a fruity sativa dominant strain, uh, mix uh, Pineapple Express and OG Kush. OG Kush, I'm very familiar with. I've tried that and I've tried Pineapple Express, as I told you, and um, I feel like it's a bit a bit of both. I can definitely feel a bit of both how it is. Um, let's see. So, saying that it has a uh, tropical aroma, dank tropical aroma with notes of mango and citrus. Um, let's see. I'm going to take another talk. Mango. 
gonna have to relight this here. Um, I do smell the, uh, the slight mango citrus, even when I just go like this and inhale the smoke through my nose. I can smell that. Uh, oh, it's nice. Um, and, uh, talking about on second inspection, picking up on a sweet sour odor. Yes. Definitely fermented fruit smell. Overripe fruit. Yes, I smell that. Kind of the same flavor, I mean, same smell as when my mom, she made some grapefruit wine a long time ago when I was a kid in this huge garbage pail. And um, when it was with fermenting, it was in the basement fermenting, and you could smell that. Yeah, definitely dank. <laughs> dank smell and, yeah, that fermented fruit kind of vibe. I like it. It's beautiful. Oh, man, this is good. Santa gives off a light and very palatable smoke. Yes, yes, I would agree. Very light and palatable indeed. Diesel-like fumes is what they're saying, too. Yes. When it's burnt, pineapple gives off a light. Okay. This smoke has a tangy pineapple, or tangy pineapple flavor on the exhale. Yes. I feel it on my tongue. It's very nice. I like it. It's pleasant. And it's always nice to have something that medicates you and is pleasurable experience while it's medicating you and alleviating pain. I feel it's alleviating pain in my ankle, my right ankle. I was having problems with my right ankle. Um, I went for a walk up to the post office today and then to the thrift store. And um, on the way back, I was feeling a tinge of pain in my right ankle. Um, <clears throat> so I was like, oh man. But um, it seems like that's subsiding right now because I didn't sit down right away and um, have a smoke session. I got up and I started doing things in the kitchen, you know, cleaning and, and cooking, and I didn't take the necessary time after my walk to relax and medicate, <coughs> and that's the result of not doing that, so. It was a good strain. I like it a lot. Um, let's see what else they got to say about it. After about an hour or sooner, if the dosage is increased, Pineapple G's heavy physical effects begin to emerge. Yeah, I can feel that. A weighty, tingly sensation begins to roll down the neck and radiates out to the core and limbs. Um, I do feel like a vibration in my hands. It feels relaxing. And usually my, my, my parts of my body feel vibration in them because it feels like it's trying to heal. It needs healing. Uh, let's see. Let's relight again. Oh, so it's, it's talking about, like, the effects on the mind. Um, the keyed up cerebral thinking that comes with it, its onset can be a concentration aid for those with attention deficit disorder. So if you have attention deficit disorder, and in your area, if cannabis is legal at, on the, let's just say recreational level, because, um, excuse me, uh, people, I just don't believe they should have separated me, medicinal and recreational, that's another story. But if you have cannabis available, like you can, you're able to legally purchase cannabis where you're at. Um, Pineapple OG is definitely a good one if you find it. Um, the thing about all these strains is not one strain is the is is the bit and be all. You know, each strain does something different. So that's why there's so many different strains. But although there are a lot of different strains, 
there's also certain strands that are similar to each other too you know so if you're in a location where you can't find pineapple OG there's going to bound to be a strain that's similar to that where you live there's just you know as far as the effects and what it does so uh, the way things have been uh, cloned so much all these strains yeah it's <laughs> It, it just makes things more confusing, probably, for people, probably. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a really good strain. I like it. Um, interesting that they should say, uh, what was it? Chimbley uh, <clears throat> treats stre symptoms of stress and depression. I was feeling a little uh, down in the dumps yesterday because uh, I was in pain, and I was, like, wanting to do all this stuff, get these things done. And I was feeling it down in the dumps, and I smoked some of this in, in a bong, the pineapple OG, and I felt a lift. My mood lifted up really, really nicely. It was nice. Um, and I can see how they'd say it'd be good for uh, depression. Um, soothes aches and pains, as I told you. My, um, my right ankle had a twinge of pain in it on the way back from my walk today. And now that Tim twinge of pain, I could barely feel, feel it. When I first started on uh, this this uh, video here, I could feel it faintly, and now it's gone. I don't feel it at all. So, that's nice. And with these kind of strains, you know, cannabis strains that I've been, you know, purchasing and uh, trying, what they've been doing is uh, telling me that, you know, reminding me you need to slow down and relax. <laughs> It's not all going to get done in one day. That's all there is to it. So what's uh, another cool thing about this strain is that they said that it's good for nausea or cramps. <clears throat> I haven't been... Uh, it was last week where I was feeling like a lot of nausea, but there was another strain I smoked and the nausea went away. Um... Most of the cannabis strains I smoked are good for nausea. I'm not saying all of them, but most of them I smoked are good for nausea. And a lot of times people that are diagnosed with uh, autoimmune deficiency diseases, um, stuff that has attacked their immune system and making it hard for them to uh, have any kind of appetite and wanting to eat, um, they find that certain cannabis strains help them tremendously with the appetite, and there are certain strains that that help really well with that. So if you need to find that, so let's see what else I'm saying on here. So overall, migraines, pain, depressed. You know, I was getting a little tension headaches because of the allergy season, because I was out out and about in the spring weather, um, walking, and it was windy and all kinds of shits blowing around. So, um, I think that's when I think. I know that's why my nose is <clears throat> feeling this way. And I was getting a little mild uh, tension in my nose and, like, kind of sinus problems. Now I don't feel that. I feel a little, like, I don't really feel it as much anymore, you know? So, there you go. But don't take my word for it. I mean, I'm not... I'm not your doctor, I'm not your herbalist. I'm somebody that's partaking in cannabis as a medical cannabis patient and experiencing these strains and seeing what they do to me, to my body, to my mind, to my soul. <laughs> so thanks for joining me today for uh, the two-part review of Pineapple OG. Feel free to let me know in the comments section below if you've tried it and what your experience is with it. I like it, it's nice. Um, as I said, I don't, I'm not one who likes to smoke sativas all the time, because it'll get me like, woo, you know what I mean? All day long and all night long. <laughs> You're stand, dancing on the ceiling like uh, Lionel Richie, right? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, um, for those of you who, uh, who prefer uh, indica strains or uh, predominantly indica strain, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't dislike sativa, I just can't do it all day long and all night long, so, yeah. Alrighty, guys, with that said, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. And if you'd like to donate to this channel, you can go to my PayPal, Google Pay, or Cash App. 
In exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you, or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing. With that said, brightest blessings to y'all, and I will see you soon. And stay mellow as you can, and stay highly, highly productive, which is what I am. <laughs>